Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Hero, and welcome to The Consequences of Gardening, a game jam game about raising a plant that really needs to eat and is very hungry. Evolution is weird. That's probably what Kaz would say. But he doesn't really care anymore, because he's a bit of a situation. He's dealing with it though, would you say? Hard to say. Kaz loves plants, he's got a bunch. One of them grew, grew a lot. And things went a bit out of control. Gertrude, Gert for short, is big now. Real big. Warren instincts are not enough, because his left arm was not enough. Gert wants flesh, human flesh, a lot of it. So be a good boy and fetch Gert's lunch, by all means necessary. Feed me. Hi, Gert. Gertrude, my Gert, grew so big, the enemy realize. I still remember when to feed on flies and regular nutrients. Ah, is it a tear I'm shedding? It was an accident. I'm sure Gert didn't mean to, you know, of the eating me. An hourglass, decorating stuff. Really taking space on my shelf. My old typewriter. I don't even know if it works. A plant. I really like plants. Just a plain tissue box. A tarot card game. Something to relax. I don't like having friends to play with. Instead of a man eating plant. Take that. A reference. I mean, a mask. I don't remember where it comes from. Wow! A regular saw, useless on Gert. Do gun limbs either. As you can clearly saw, I mean see. Just a plant, well taken care of. Watering can. A water can. I use to warm my babies. Take that. Maybe I should clean up later. You wanna eat a traffic cone? They're all nutritious in traffic coney. The cone. You never know when you might need one. It's true. You never know when you might need a comb. I can fill the water can with this water. This is not an in-game yet. What? Ho ho ho! Wallet. And that's my wallet. I thought I'd lost it. I can buy stuff now. Nice. Wallet's still here. Some soil. I don't need to repot any plant. Some bones down there. Uh... Gert could have have eaten properly. Not too fond of residue of human flesh. So, uh, what you feeding Gert there, buddy? These precious trinkets are locked up. Tubes and snails won't be useful outside, and I wouldn't want to risk breaking anything. This ivy's pretty, ain't it? Chemistry, floral language, fluids, mechanics, software engineering. I need to put some more in this someday. A present for my mom. It's some sort of spaceship with a little robot in it. Oh yeah. R3-D4. From the hit series that's about to collapse. Boar Wars. Books about botanic. Nothing on Girth though. Does it mean I'm Discover? I mean I should come up with a Latin name for the species. How about Gertrudis Giganta? Meow. Ghosty, my purely little companion. Bear not to have it happen to the cat! I think I've looked at everything here. Since we have a map, right? Um, there's places we can go. Go to the market. Hey there, buddy. Something wrong? What you looking at? Magnet. A strong magnet. So many possibilities. Sure, a free magnet. A barrel with odds and ends in it. Planks. Don't need any. Yet. I could use a stall. However, there seems to be need of some false hope. I sure could give that to him, for a brief moment. Clairvoyant stand, crystal ball, and tarot reading. It's closed. I need a crystal ball, I think. I have the tarot cards. A butcher's shop. Apparently closed for health reasons. Oh well. Gert prefers fresh meat, anyway. This guy looks depressed. Does he need help? 
Carvoyan isn't here. When is she gonna arrive? I really need to see her. But why isn't she here yet? Are you alright? Alright. Alright, do I look alright to you, sir? I'm in a panic here. I need the clairvoyant. Have a nice wait. Let's go somewhere else right now. I think I need more items. Yeah, there's a crystal ball. Lamp. This lamp has a strange shape. Kind of reminds me of a crystal ball. Thanks, I'll just take that. The store's clerk. He looks like a capable guy. Welcome, welcome. Do you some fixin'? Indeed, good sir. I have a problem with my computer. No worries, I can fix almost anything. What seems to be the problem? Oh, you know, um, computer problems. With your idea, I could write you a quote. It's broken. Notice anything in particular? Um, killer plant next to it. Maybe you should stand next to it. It does not work when I push the button. How about the power source? Power supply is brand new. Plug and socket seem fine. Alright, my boy. Let's go see that nasty problem you got. Can't really help much if I don't take a good look at the machine. You got a car? I don't. I'll give you a ride then. You my co-pilot, huh? Cool, thanks. I'll log your address after work is done. Remind me, eh? Huh, oh, yeah, sure. What a relief. Yep, there's the, um, computers. Well, that was some ride. Did you walk all the way? You're an athlete, kid. We had part town, too. Lucky man. What a nice plant you have in the corner, sir. I do enjoy that. No wonder. So where's that broken machine you told me about? Um, it's by the plant. I mean, no, by computer. There, points towards computer. I'll get to it, then. Oh boy, that's some beast you got there, eh? Some kind of scientist makes a thing? GMOs or whatnot? Bon appetit, Gert. What are you going near the thing? These are roots, alright. They move, nice grip. Oh, never seen anything quite like this before. Wait, what do you mean Bon Appetit? Sir, sir, get away from that. Well, never mind. Oh, I see the little clever, little clever censorship. The little outline. Gertrude. Well, that's one down. So everything here is free now, right? Thanks. The clerk's computer. That's a cool looking poster. Hmm, it reminds me of a famous actor. Visual for an upcoming game called B3LL. Funny, Inker also has a mechanical arm. You have so much in common. Except for maybe the, uh, you know, feeding people to plants. Hey, a free controller. Now that no one's looking, I can take this. I don't think he'll miss it where he's gone to. Sweet, free stuff. Free vacuum. A vacuum too bulky for me. An interesting walking simulator. If I want to go on 160 walks, I just have to go outside. I wouldn't want to play this game. A statue of plumber who kills plants. What a terrible person. A picture of an old camera. Ping pong destruction, I wonder what that is. Cute robot. The enemies look gruesome, though. A Wall Street wizard selling ruins. Sounds weird. What the magnet's gonna be used for? Is this our house over here? Yeah, that's our house. Well, we have the stuff for him. Um, hey, free fish. Fish. Doesn't look fresh. Wouldn't even give that to Gert. This guy looked depressed. Does he need help? Sir, do you need any help? Let's see. Good. I was testing your resolve. Is I, the clairvoyant. You are? Yes. 
Magical blood flows in my veins. See this in my very own window to your future. You will encounter some large jaws of the movie sort. You, you, you will encounter the jaws movie. So I see in your future. Oh my, a true wizard, praise be you. Tell me all about it. I must know. I must know. I see it. Yes. It really is a lamp. What do you see? Don't spare any details. You will soon have a fated encounter with your destiny. An encounter? An extraordinary one, I might even say. Is it for a job? A wedding? Wealth, maybe? Anything good? At least I hope. Um, good for somebody? Become one with Mother Nature. Feed your roots. Well, maybe not exactly your roots. I'll take it. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's alright. But how will I know? Will there be a sign? There must be a sign. What is my sign? Uh, my address. That's all I can see from here, sadly. I would need more advanced techniques for more precision. It can't be all for nothing. There has to be something else you can do. Actually, there is. Tarot readings. Most powerful. Seance should be conducted in my flat. I can feel my chakras there. Too many waves. Why, yes, I would follow you anywhere to borrow your powers. I am but your humble client. Yep, yeah, yeah, there's your uh, chakras right over there. Go uh, join your roots. So this is where you perform your strongest magic. The place is a lot brighter than I imagined. I had it all wrong. Light must be an important element for your powers to thrive. Well, plants. I still have to prepare. Chakra manners. Would you go near that plant? It helps reduce the interferences. Goodbye, person who is desperate. Anything to have your readings be the best they can be. How close? Is this close enough? I can feel the cleansing already. Such a powerful being. I can even hear it talk to me. Wait, I see it now. You see the fangs? The encounter. The fated encounter. This is it. My destiny awaits. What a glorious perspective. Is it the sun I feel in my skin? Is it so warm? That's breath. That perfume. So very intoxicating. I am complete. Ah, farewell, Corporal Sheep. Oh, actually. Ah, you seem to be willingly going. Time for elevation. Well, that's one person down. Let's go to the place we haven't been yet. How you doing, buddy? The barman. He's got a pretty face. The kind of face that sells a lot of cocktails and makes money. Hi, can I get you something? Sure. A gin and tonic, please. Your drink, sir. Cheers. The counter. Pretty much where one orders and pays. That sometimes has conversations. I'm not too good at conversationing. Maybe that's why I don't have any friends. Or maybe they're all just getting eaten. Nah, that's probably good. Friends who feed friends stay together. Indirectly in spirit. I wonder if Gert likes alcohol. Never tried so far. Feed me some of that good whiskey. A beautiful painting, although terrifying. It said that the artist saw hell with his own eyes. How you doing? A seat. It's a little worn out. Not like I mind. A tipsy woman. She's still looking at me. Can I help you? Hello, dreamboat. Can I sit here? I am most definitely not a boat. Nor am I a dream. Well, well, this bar is really cool, right? Drinks are great. This music makes me want to get close. What's your poison, Sherry? I am not particularly fond of poisons. However, if I had to choose one, it would most certainly be those produced by Atropa Belladonna, a terribly fascinating plant. Its deliciously sweet fruits are a fine subterfuge, and the beauty in its action 
slowly paralyzing each and every muscle. Even the heart. Ah. Uh, my apologies, yours. Oh, me? Sex on the beach. Nice colors and very sweet. I feel so great after a few. I am not aware of that one. Are you sure it is wise to drink? Of course. Anyways, I love it. Love it. Love it. Especially when I am alone because of my friends, these deserters. Please do not trust a guy who likes too many plants. <laughs> Especially with a robot arm. Maybe it's a little weird combo. Maybe he has like a killer plant in his room. Can you believe it? He planned this and he didn't even show. Huh. I'm glad to go home and play, but my controller broke down. Boy, that's random. Wait, maybe I can help you with that. Actually, smiles faintly. Grace is an eyebrow readjusting her seat. Really? Tell me more. Tell me about you. What do you like? Um, feeding people the plants. I mean, feeding plants. I mean, plants. I like plants. Alright, we got a rare seed here. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, 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 that's fine. I'll take it. I'm quite good at keeping human environments from them to thrive. Really? Fans herself with a hand. I just love when men talk about humanity. I imagine that's not that easy. Got any proof, Don Juan? Yeah, I guess I am quite good at caring for things and serving all their needs and desires. I mean, my flat is proof enough of that. It's kind of flat and dead. I like that in a man. Caring for things that eat people. And humidity. I like that in a man. You just have to listen, you know. Or oh, well, look for subtle clues. Why don't we continue this conversation somewhere a little bit more? Quiet. I know, let's go back to yours. And you can show me your proof. Don't you want a new controller? That one right here. You can give it to me afterwards. Uh, 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 okay. Well, that was unexpectedly easy. Too bad, you seem like a nice enough person. Then again, everyone else did too. Oh, your flat is so cool. I mean, I could totes live here. Wanna show Lady around? We can have some fun. Sure, that's, uh, where I live, points to the living room. Um, that's my, uh, mask from Crash Bandicoot. That's me cat. That's me cactus. And that's me man-eating plant. What is this for? And this- Oh, you got so many things. Can you teach me how to use this? I would love that. Oh, kitty! Meow, meow. <laughs> What's the name? Ghosty. You didn't lie. You really do have a lot of plants. And this one's so big. It's even bigger than me. Not like I'm very tall, you know. Some kind of tree? Looks like it could swallow me whole. Aha. Uh Aha. -huh. Uh -huh. God, you sound like a... You sound like a DeviantArt comment. <laughs> it's like, oh, it could swallow me whole. Ah ha ha. That's actually very accurate. Yeah. You people need to stop going near the giant man eating plant. It has teeth. You're such a joker. How can you pull such a serious face? You're hilarious. I wonder what it feels like. Can't touch? Don't pull. Kia. Man, you eat free people a day? It's going to be for this whole town. Oh, okay, so it's a demo. I'm curious if this will ever actually move past, you know, being kind of a game jam demo. Or, you know, maybe the developer moved on to different concepts afterwards. It seems like they've made quite a few little, like, game jamming games. Uh, uh, a few of them are, looks like, prototypes or adventure games. Stuff like this. Kind of like this one, but more like Cyberpunk. But, so it's obviously inspired by, you know what, you know, feed me, Seabor, and... But the main character... And the writing is a little more of like a sarcastic-y, 
humor. He's, he's a little, he's pretty dry. Which, if I were to make this into a full game, I would run in that full... I would just kind of double down on that. Because I think the little dry humor and the little dumb puns like, Oh yeah, humidity. Stuff like that. I feel like that dry kind of delivery is actually the fun part of this. And I would add a little bit of carnage. Clear, clearly it was a game jam. They didn't have enough time to like animate any gore. I want to make it like gory gory, but like kind of comically gory. Like uh, Sierra era adventure games, that kind of feel. But that about sums up my thoughts. I feel like we did see the consequences of gardening here. And this teaches you that at some point if you're gardening, you, you will have a giant man eating plant. As we have learned from a certain other story. <laughs> so never garden, children. <laughs> Anyway, so thank you all for watching me play the Consequences of Gardening demo. I'll see you guys later and take it easy.